Good morning, YouTube adventurers, and welcome to another video from the Steve Adventure Academy. And today we are testing, essentially we are, have brought you in, uh, in the midst of the process of doing a lie crystals de of our Chavez. And so this video is going to have uh, very low production quality, uh, but here we go. So we brought you in uh, halfway through the process because frankly we weren't quite sure how it was going to work. But as you can see, if you've been paying attention in this channel, it does seem to be working quite well. So we've got some bronzing up. We're going to need to do some polishing out. I think this one's about done. But as you can see, the blue, that light blue that was still there and driving us crazy, seems to be gone. Uh, we've gotten into a nice bronze tone. There are some uh, fumes, so be careful there. And we put on this uh, Chavez sticker uh, that was uh, made for us with permission uh, by Melance and Signs in an effort to try to uh, make this process a little bit cooler insofar as we should have a ghosted blue Chavez key on the inside of the scale. This is the outside. And so we've used these lie crystals. We were able to get them at home hardware. And uh, things to note, um, there is one cup of water in here. We measured it with the measuring cup. And then we added enough lye that it covered this space and was uh, just a little bit proud of the water. Um, it did create some vapor, so good thing we had the fan running. And let's see, I think we're about ready to pull these scales. Now, one of the things that we didn't expect was that things were going to get hot. Uh, this water is quite warm. It's in the 35 degree range. And so rather than going from very warm 35 degree water, which would be uh, probably as hot as the hottest tap water coming out of your hose, out of your sink. We're just going to go from hot to hot. Now you can see there's some discoloration. The scales were cleaned, but not very well. And I'm probably going to need to buff out this back side a little bit. There may be a little ghosting of the blue still as well. So we'll see once they're dry. And then we'll take this one as well. That water is quite warm. We actually measured that with the with a laser thermometer to see how hot it was. And so that's not a theory. That's actually how hot that water is. Now the next question is, can this solution be used again? And so we're going to find a storage medium to hold on to it and see if it can be used again. If it uh, can't be used again for this process, then we'll uh, likely save it to uh, make ant traps. But on every way in and every day, we haven't found a single video on the YouTube machine that talks about removing the anodization with the lye bath. We do have some spotting, but in everything in life, there is risk. And so it's likely we'll be able to push that spotting out just with the uh, with our strop compound and just run it on the strop. Looks like there's still going to be some blue ghosting through as it dries, but we'll find out where we're at. In any case, on every way and in every day, we hope you have a fantastic day and that you stay sharp. Bye for now.